Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. I have a doll trade video to share with you guys today. It is from the usual person that I do all my trades with. His name is Aiden Eck on YouTube. And this is, I think, like the third or fourth trade that we've done so far. I think it's only the third, but it's kind of two trades combined. We had planned to do a trade a long time ago, and I finally have stopped traveling and I got home. And since then, we had sort of like created another trade to do after that, but it had been for so long that we had been planning to do the first one and hadn't gotten to do it. We decided to just combine the trades and send them both at once. So I have two packages here that are trade items. I've already sent him um, the stuff that he wanted from the trade. And I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's a lot of stuff in here. I do already know what is inside since, you know, the trade is organized. But the first package is pretty big. It's going to have a lot of stuff inside. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a little note that has some cute stickers on it and it says have a lovely day. It was fun organizing trades with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm very, very excited. It's all really nicely wrapped. It's in a big bag. This is what it looks like. And I'm super excited because I do have a lot of dolls in here that I have been wanting for a very long time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the first one. The first one is this Bratz. And if I remember correctly, um, she sent this doll so that I can fix her hair. Um, it is something that we had sort of done in exchange for some of the dolls from the trade. Um, if I sort of, um, you know, straightened some of the doll's hair and, you know, fixed it, then she, um, you know, if I fixed her, then I would get a trade item. So I have this doll who I'm going to be fixing the hair on. The next doll is a Frightmares, and I am very, very excited. I do have a few of these already, but I don't have this one. She's got a little unicorn horn, and she's got her wings and her belt, and she's actually in pretty good shape. I do have, I think, six Frightmares, and then this is my seventh. She's very, very cute, and she's in really, really nice shape. Very, very excited about her. I'm going to go through these kind of fast because I do have a lot of dolls to get through, and I want to make sure that I have time to get through them all. And the next doll is this really cute Kelly. She has black hair that is really, really nice and soft because it's Kineclon. And this adorable little face. I don't have a lot of, like, older Kellys like this, so I'm really excited to get her. But yeah, she's really cute and she's in pretty good shape, as you guys can see. The next one is this Moxie Girl, which I really like, even though I'm a little bit sad that her hair has been cut. This is like one of the Alice in Wonderland Moxie Girls. Um, and if nothing else, I can definitely use her, her outfit because she is very, very cute and her earrings. Um, it's a shame that her hair is cut, but that is okay. She's still very, very pretty. The next doll is this Gigi. Now, I don't believe that I have this one, and I haven't gotten new Monster High dolls in a while, mainly because once you start, you know having so many in your collection a lot of times if you are at a thrift store or you're on ebay a lot of the dolls that are on there are ones that you already own or if it's in like a bulk lot there are just more dolls in there that you have already than ones that you don't so i haven't been getting a lot of monster high dolls recently so i'm very very excited about this Gigi. i don't have her i have a few Gigi's, but not this specific one she doesn't have an arm but that's okay um, and her hair is in pretty good shape it's just a little bit tangled but it's still nice and soft still it's not super gluey or anything She's got gorgeous turquoise makeup. She's very, very pretty. Now, the next doll is a grail, and I am so unbelievably excited to have gotten her, and it is Luna Matthews. I am so excited. I have been wanting her for so, so long. She is so beautiful. She even has her headpiece, and she's got this gorgeous face. She's in excellent condition. She has all of her limbs. I am overjoyed to have her. I really like the New York line, and I do already have Mercedes, but I don't have Luna or the other one, which is the robot one. I think her name is Elle, um, but I'm very, very, very excited to have her. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. And the next doll is this fashionista. I do have one already, but mine is customized. So I thought it'd be nice to have one that isn't customized. She is one of my absolute favorite of the new Barbie fashionistas. You might actually recognize her from the um, one episode of the doll series that I did. She was the main character and her name was Skye. And she's very, very beautiful. I really love this doll, and I'm excited to have one that is, you know, more in its original state that I can, like, dress up and everything. And she's in really nice shape. Her hair is pretty good and everything, so that is very exciting. 
And then we have another Kelly, and she is also super cute. This one has red hair. She looks to be from around the same time as the other one. She's super cute. She has red lipstick, and she has like grayish colored eyes, and she's got a red ribbon in her hair. She's super, super cute. And next is a Disney Descendants doll. This is Mal. I don't have this one, I don't think. Sorry, I'm looking at my at all my Descendants. I don't think I have this one. My Descendants collection is slowly but surely growing, and I'm kind of excited about it. I do really like the Descendants dolls, especially like the characters that aren't the main ones. Um, like, I really like the daughter of Ursula with the braids, and I really like the daughter of Mulan, who I have. I really like a lot of the more unique ones, but I really like this Mal too. She has her top and she has all of her limbs and then she also has shoes. Um, so that's pretty cool. She just needs a pair of bottoms and her hair isn't that bad. It looks like some pieces might have been cut, but I can very easily like even that out and make it look good. So that is very exciting. The next doll is another Monster High doll that I'm very, very excited about. This is Diana Treasurer Jones. This is the daughter of Davy Jones. I really like um, Pirates of the Caribbean and like pirate lore and stuff like that. So I was super interested in this doll when she came out. I just was never able to get her. So I'm very, very excited to get her now. She has her limbs and she has her skirt and she even has her shoes and her headpiece and her earrings. She's in excellent condition and I am super excited to add her to my collection. Yeah, she's in really great shape. Her hair's got tinsel in it, which will make it a little bit harder to fix because the tinsel likes to pull apart. But I'm still very, very excited about her. She's absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I love getting these sort of like off Monster High characters where they don't have a lot of them. So very, very excited about Dana here. One of my favorites from this trade. And the next doll is a, another Kelly. I am slowly but surely growing my Kelly collection thanks to Aiden. Um, and this one is also a redhead. She's very, very cute. I'm gonna have to get some more Kelly clothes because I'm running out. But she is super cute. She's got sort of like a more auburn hair and less like strawberry blonde like the other one. And she has adorable freckles and green eyes. She is very, very cute. And her hair is actually really nice and soft, so it won't take me very long to fix her up at all. The next one is this. I think, I don't know who she is, but I did really like her. And I don't have a lot of um, more vintage dolls that are African-American. So when she was offered up in the trade, I decided to go ahead and get her. Because I think she's very, very pretty. She reminds me, actually, of... A doll that looked similar to her that I had when I was younger that I unfortunately gave away. Um, I don't th think it's this exact one, but she sort of reminds me of her, and I am very, very excited to have her. She's really pretty. Her hair is in really nice shape, and she is dressed in this really cute Barbie dress that's like a shimmery metallic purple color, and it actually matches her earrings, which is cool, but she is very, very pretty. Very excited to have her. Next is this Bratz. She is super cool. Hold on one second. As you can see, she's very, very cool. She's got pink streak in her hair, which is a royal nightmare, but that's okay. I can fix it up in no time. It'll just take a lot of brushing, I think, but she is definitely fixable. Very gorgeous. And next is this Barbie, and she was one of the last dolls that um, was put in the trade, and I'm really excited about her. I really, really love the sort of, like, Friends of Stacy dolls. I think that they're really, really fun. I do actually have the um, the actual Stacy from this line, the gymnast one, with the pink jumpsuit, and I'm really, really excited. She's very pretty. She has purple eyes and, like, auburn hair. And I don't think these shoes belong to her, but they look really great on her. And she is jointed because she's like a gymnast. So she has articulation in the knees and elbows. And she has purple earrings. And she's in really great shape. Like her hair is done in this really cute hairstyle. And she's nice and clean. And she even smells good, which is cool. She smells kind of like grapes. Um, but yeah, that's her. And then here's another doll I am very, very excited about. We have Freak Do Chic Frankie. Now... Freak to Chic is one of my favorite Monster High doll lines. I love the like whimsical circus theme. I actually have a few Freak to Chic dolls, but not many. I have Toralei and I have Honey, Honey Swamp, but those are the only Freak to Chic dolls that I have. Oh wait, no, and then I also have Goliope because she's also technically from Freak to Chic, but I don't have any other ones. And I really love the Frankie 
and I'm really excited to have gotten her. She does have like a sort of um, stain by her lip, but she, um, Aiden told me about that and I am totally okay with it. But she even has her dress and I'm very, very excited to add her to my Freak to Chic line. I really, really love the dolls from it. I really like the theme of their like outfits and everything too. So I'm super excited to have Frankie. And then the next doll is another Grail. <laughs> I'm so, so excited to get her, but we have Claudia Wolf. Now, I have been really, really wanting a Claudia from a long time. And this is the one from the, um, the like, Claudine's Family 4-pack. And so this is not the one from, I don't remember um, which, I think it might be from Scaris. I don't quite remember. But this is not that one. This is one from the four pack. But she is super, super cool. She has her full outfit. She even has shoes. And I am so, so excited because I really love Claudia. I love her yellow hair and her dark skin. And she's so tall. So I am absolutely super, super excited to have gotten her. Um, I cannot wait to fix her up. And she is super gorgeous. I love her makeup. She looks like a lot of fun. I'm so excited about her. And then we're kind of getting close to the end of the first package. We have a another Bratz, which is cool. She has these really fun boots on. I don't know if they are removable or not. Um, I don't think that they are. Um, but she's really fun. She's got, like, this interesting, like, position of her body going on with, like, a hike tip. But she has black hair and, like, diamond earrings. And she's really, really cool. And I'm really excited to have gotten her. And I think this is one of the ones that is actually part of the trade and not one of the ones that I was supposed to fix up. But she's still really, really pretty. And I really like her, like, gray and silverish makeup and her frosted lips. And I love black hair on dolls. I've always thought it was very striking, especially when it's, like, fair-skinned with dark hair. And I think she's very pretty. We have three more dolls left, and they're all Monster High or Ever After High. And that is one of the reasons I love trading with Aiden, because he has so many, like, spare Monster High and Ever After High dolls. And those are the two lines that I think I enjoy collecting most. Um, I really love collecting Barbie, but there's just so many of them out there, and they have so much variety. So... I think collecting Barbie is almost like a given, but I really enjoy collecting Monster High and Ever After High, so I'm so excited to have gotten so many to, like, add to my collection. But the next one we have is another Frankie. I don't remember which Frankie this is, but I don't have her, is what I know. Now, she is in a little bit of ratchet shape, but I was aware of that, and it is okay. Her hair is very, very gelled, but I can totally fix it and find her a pair of arms. She'll be okay. I can fix her, that's for sure. Um, and she has a little bit of, like, loose legs going on, but I am still more than happy to have her. I really like her makeup. It's very, very simple with red lips, and I like her straight across bangs. For some reason, Barbies and, you know, Ever After High Monster High, there aren't a lot of them that come with just, like, straight across bangs anymore, so I think that that's kind of fun when they do, but that is her. And then we have Enchanted Picnic Raven, who I do not have, and I haven't gotten any new Ever After High dolls in a while either, just because Ever After High did not make as many dolls as Monster High, and I've, you know, oh, quite a while ago I sort of got to that place, like I mentioned, where you have, like, enough in your collection that chances are when you come across one in a thrift store somewhere, you have, sorry... <laughs> The dogs are barking. Give me one second. Anyway, as I was saying, I've gotten to the point where I have enough Ever After High dolls in my collection that when I come across them at a thrift store or on eBay or something, I usually have them. So I'm really, really excited to have gotten this Raven, especially because she has her headband and her dress and her shoes. She's in really, really great shape, and I'm super, super excited about her. I do have a couple of dolls from the Enchanted Picnic line, but I do not have this Raven, so I'm super excited to add her to my collection. She's in really, really great shape. Thank you so much, Aiden, for trading her. And then the last doll is another Monster High Grail. This is Lorna McNessie, and I really love her. I am super interested in mythology, so the Loch Ness Monster, who is less like a monster and more a myth, I think is super, super cool. 
and I love the fact that she has a tail. I haven't ever really gotten a close look at Lorna before, and I really, really like her. Her skin is kind of like a pearlescent sheen to it. It's not just blue, and then she's got the stunning red hair, and she even has, like, her top and her skirt and her shoes. So she even has part of her outfit, and she has all of her limbs. So I'm super, super excited about her. She's very, very, very beautiful, and I'm so excited that I got to trade for her. She's super cool. I really like her. Okay, next box, because we've gotten to the end of this one. Ugh, here's the next box. We have it right here. It is about the same size, and it is pretty full. And he did include another note that said, Great trading with you. Have a great day. Sincerely, Aiden Eck. So, thank you for doing this trade with me once again. And I'm going to go ahead and dive into this one now. This one has a bunch of clothes and stuff in it, and my birthday was a little while ago, and by the time I'm uploading this video, it's probably been a long time since October. But my birthday was in October, and that was about when we sent this trade out, and he said he was going to include some things for me for my birthday, which was so, super sweet. And I'm going to go ahead and like take the clothes and accessories out of here so that um, I can show them to you closer up because there are quite a few pieces if there were only a couple then I probably wouldn't but there are like a decent bit of clothing and accessories in here that I'm going to go ahead and take out that I will show you guys um closer up okay so I think I got all of the like clothes and accessories out and I'm going to go ahead and get started here we have cast of fierce I did actually have her already but um, he had a duplicate that was more complete than mine, so what just ended up happening was I sent him my more incomplete one so that he would still have a spare, and then he sent me this one so that I would have my initial, you know, my actual Casta being a little bit more complete. So I'm super excited. Mine was missing her boots, and she was missing an arm, and I think she might have been missing her sort of, like, um, shoulder, neck, I don't know, ornamentation, um, but she is super, super cool. I love Casta. She is a lot of fun um, in a ballet once I actually played the Wicked Witch of the West. So it's fun to have a doll that is like her. So I'm very excited about her. She's super pretty. She's in really nice shape, um, which is why we traded for her, just because, you know, she was in better shape. So I'm very, very excited to have her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Next is a doll that I am super, super excited about. Now, I really love Lottie Daw dolls, and I don't usually find them very often just because they didn't make very many of them. They weren't very widely produced, and they kind of vanished off the face of the earth once they were discontinued. But in exchange for a doll that Aiden really liked, he gave me this beautiful beautiful la -dee da doll. She is absolutely gorgeous. She is like ice and snow themed and she is complete. So she has these amazing shoes and this really, really beautiful dress. And then this gorge, her face is absolutely gorgeous and her makeup and everything is so, so beautiful. And then she even has her tiara still. So she is so, so incredibly beautiful. And I am so excited beyond words to have her. She is super, super pretty. And I'm very excited about her. And I did get another la -dee da doll, um, and I do already have this one, but she was missing her headpiece. So I got this one. I think I have her already. Maybe I don't. I actually think... Sorry, my la -dee da doll shelf is, like, back there, so I'm looking in there. I do not think that I have this one. Very, very cool. So then we have this la -dee da who is super cute too. She has her tiara still. She doesn't have her clothes, but that is okay. She is really pretty. She's got this like bubblegum pink hair and she's got really fun makeup as all the Lottie Dawes do. And I am very, very excited to have her. Now I have two new ones. I thought I had this one already and I was just going to like have the headpiece, but I don't have her. So now I have two new Lottie Dawes to add to my collection. This is very exciting. Okay. Moving forward, um, I have a few new palace pets that I traded with. Um, give me one second. I am pulling them out. I think there's um, three of them. And I got the peacock, who is super, super cute. I really like the palace pets, the Disney ones. I think they're really cute. I do only have one of them, so I'm very excited to have more. So we have the peacock. We have the kitty. I think it's a kitty. Anyway, she's got a lot of hair in her tail, but she is still super cute. I think it's a, probably Aurora's pet because um, she looks like Aurora, which is super cute. And then we have a bunny. 
who looks like maybe Cinderella's pet, if I were to guess. Um, she's super cute as well, as you can see. Really, really cute. And then I do have a LPS and this little horse figurine, which are both incredibly adorable. I don't have a lot of LPS, and I have always really liked them, and I'm excited that my collection is growing. And then this really, really cute horse. And then I have a very, very beautiful Ariel figurine that I can use to decorate my Disney shelf with. She's in her green dress, and she's really, really nicely painted. She's, like, really high quality. She's made of, like, not just typical, like, plastic. She's almost more like vinyl, and she is very, very pretty. like her a lot. And then we have a holiday Barbie, and she even comes with her, um, her little star. One second, I'm just attaching it. There we go. Isn't she? Oh my gosh, guys. She's absolutely gorgeous. I am super, super excited about her. And this is a doll that I was very, very excited about. She's got her earrings, her dress, her shoes, and her star. So she is in incredible condition. And I am super, super excited about having her. Thank you so much, Aiden. Also, if you want me to send um, my incomplete version of this doll that I have um, back to you, I can totally do that so that you still have a spare. But this one is a lot more complete, and I'm super, super excited to have traded for her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for her. She is so beautiful. Like, if you guys can take a closer look at her face, she's got amazing makeup and stuff, and it doesn't quite want to focus, um, so I'm sorry about that. But the next doll is another one of the brats that I am going to fix up for her. Um, they're both twins. I think they're Phoebe and Roxy is what their names are, I think. Um, and that is what they look like. I'm just supposed to um, fix both of them. Um, they may not be the twins. I don't know for sure, but those are two dolls that I know that I'm supposed to be fixing the hair of for Aiden. So um, that is super cool. And then we have another grail. And this is one of the dolls that I am the most excited about. And it's a doll that I have been wanting. And it is another pirate doll um, from the Haunted line. And it is Vandala Doubloons. And I have been wanting this doll for a really long time because, like I said, I really love Pirates of the Caribbean and just, like, pirate stuff. And I really, really love the haunted uh, doll line in general. I do have a few. I have um, River Styx, which I really love because Greek mythology is one of my favorite mythologies to learn about. And she, the River Styx, is Greek. And then I also have Claudine and Draculaura. And now I have Vandela, so I am so excited. Some people say Vandela, but I call it, I say Vandela, which I think is correct. Um, but she is in really, really great shape. She has, like, her cool, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's a belt, and it's got also got, like, the ornamentation in the shoulders. And she has her dress, and her shoe, and her peg leg, and... She is super, super ghosty and pretty looking. I am super, super excited about this doll. Thank you so much, Aiden, for trading her for me. I am super excited. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's so pretty. Sorry, I just had to take a second to look at her face, but she is so gorgeous. I am so excited about these dolls. And then we have this doll, which is Poison Ivy. Now, I do already have this Poison Ivy doll, but mine is not complete at all. Um, she just has her top and her bottoms, um, and she doesn't have, like, the overlay part of the top or the belt or the shoes. So I'm super excited to have one who is more complete. Um, Poison Ivy is one of my favorite DC Superhero Girls dolls, just because I love the red and green combination. So I'm very, very excited to have one that's more complete. And she is in pretty good condition, if I do say so, as you guys can see. We're getting kind of close to the end with, um, with the dolls. Sorry, I'm pulling out a couple more pieces that I'll show you guys in just a second. The next doll we have is Scara Screams, and I only have one Scara in my collection, so I'm super excited to have another one. I think that she is very, very interesting. Um, the fact that, you know, she's got no eyes or anything like that. She's just really, really neat looking, and I am very excited to have another one in my collection. She is in pretty ratchet shape, but that is okay. I can find her arms, and she's got this weird tail coming out the bottom of her hair, but I can trim it. She does have her shoes, though, which is very exciting, and I do think I have her dress, so that is very exciting. And the next doll, sorry, give me one moment. I'm going to take a couple, of, a couple of these out. Okay, so there is a Garden Ghouls in here, and it is the Cleo. Now, I think that these are her wings. Um, I'm going to put them on really quick so that I can... Hold on one second. I'm not sure which way the wings go. 
Mm. If I were to guess, I'd say like the fancy side was up, but I could be completely wrong. Um, let's see. Let's try. Let's try that. Okay, so I think her wings are on, and I only have one Garden Ghouls doll, which is Twyla, so I'm very, very excited to have another one. Oh, and I do have the, like, the big, the Teresa Thornwillow. I do have her. Got her at the flea market. But now I have Cleo, and she is very, very pretty, and she's in great shape, too. She has her dress and her shoes, as you guys can see. She's very, very pretty. This is, like, the last decent Monster High budget doll line that they made before they started going really downhill. So, I do like her. I'm not such a big fan of the, um, excuse me, the budget face mold, but I still think that she's a very pretty doll, and I'm very excited to have her. And then we have, I think these might be Luna Matthews wings. Um, I could be wrong, um, if I can pull her out from the bottom of the pile. She was one of the first dolls that I pulled out. Let me see if I can find her. Okay. Yeah, here's Luna. Um, she does have a hole for wings in the back. These might be her wings. Hey, they are Luna's wings. So we have her wings. Very, very cool. That's super exciting. She's very pretty. I love Luna. We are almost there. We've got a couple more dolls. I think that this might be um, another one of the dolls that I'm fixing the hair for. If not, I will have to double check and make sure. But we only have a couple more dolls. This doll has been waiting to come home to me. For a couple of trades now, she's just so big that her dress made her not fit in the package. So she had to wait a while before she could come with me. But she's absolutely gorgeous, this Cinderella doll. She's got this beautiful holiday white dress and a really beautiful, like, delicate, gentle-looking face sculpt and diamond earrings. And she is super, super pretty. I'm really excited to add her to my collection. Her hair is a little bit of a mess, but I can totally fix it. No problem. She's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to fix her. And then the last doll we have is this Barbie, and she's actually really cute. Um, I traded her for something small, I think, but I really, really like her. She has these gold shell earrings earrings and gold tinsel in her hair and she's got some pink and purple streaks in her hair as well um and I don't remember who she is but I do really like her a lot and I'm excited to add her to my collection she was kind of like a surprise um doll that I got that wasn't like a grail or anything but I like her a lot now that I'm actually seeing her in person so that is super super exciting she's really pretty and in pretty good shape too now that is all of the dolls, which is an amazing trade in itself, but there is also clothes and accessories that I'm going to show you guys. So give me one second to lay all of that out, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so here are some of the clothes. They vary very widely. We have some Monster High clothes. We have Disney clothes, Merida, Mulan, Aurora. We have some just regular Barbie clothes, you know, like right here. And we have a big doll clothes over here, and we've got Bratz and DC Superhero Girls and Ken. We have a pretty nice variety of clothes, and I know that some of these are extra, so thank you so, so much, Aiden. We do have some more clothes that I'll show you, and then some more accessories, too. Alright, so here is the last of the trade, which is some amazing stuff. We've got more Monster High clothes, including Luna Matthews' top. I don't have her bottoms yet, but hopefully I'll be able to find them on eBay or something. And we have Classroom Cleo's whole entire outfit. So we have her dress, and her leg warmers, and her jacket, and her glasses, and her shoes. We have Garden Ghoul Cleo's sunglasses. We have a Claudine dress. We have some DC Superhero Girls parts. We have some limbs. We have some necklaces. This is Ever After High, and this one's Barbie. We have some more clothes here. We have um, some Frankie boots from Monster High. We've got a few extra pieces in here, too, that I know came from him, which is super, super sweet. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for this trade. I've really thoroughly enjoyed doing this trade with you again, and I'm looking forward to more in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, too. And if you did, then, you know, like it and subscribe it and all of that stuff. And if you can identify any of the Kelly dolls and those two Barbie dolls, I would be supremely grateful. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye.